Hey guys, this is Jen from Scan and Cut Canvas and Scal Help on Facebook. Okay, so yesterday when I did the main video, um, I picked up an issue with some, now not all, some of the fonts, okay? Um, oh, me and this computer just have issues. See what I mean? You touch something and it just goes absolutely wonky. All right, but anyways, um, the old TTF converter, when you would have the holes that became present, you could easily go in and do a subtract, and that would rectify that. Okay, well, I did that yesterday. I went through yesterday, this morning, last night. I worked on this for a very long time, and nothing was working, but I did find a solution. So I'm going to go through that with you now. Okay, this works a lot different than the online program in some aspects, okay? All right. So we all know, because I've had a lot of questions, we all know that if you come here and you hit the enter button, you cannot create the second level, third level. You cannot just do that. You actually have to come down here, uh, hit the T again to uh, make multiple uh, levels or layers, okay? So if you want to do hello friends or something like that, welcome friends, you want to have two layers of text, you have to do that separately. Uh, a couple other people have asked if you can use type on path. No. Um, understand, yes, this is a huge improvement, and it's a lot like Shortcuts a lot, but it is not Shortcuts a lot. Shortcuts a lot is a wonderful, very uh, well designed program with a lot of years uh, under its belt. Um, but this is a good try by brother. Okay, but it's not sure cuts a lot. So no, you cannot do a type on path. Okay, so with this one, let's get busy here. All right, so if I come up here, oh crap, sorry. Um, I come up here and I want to separate this. Okay, oops, sorry here. I can't do the ungroup. Okay. Let me tell you, me and this computer. I come to the process overlap if I click divide I'm in trouble okay because I just seriously messed all of that up okay so what I need to do first okay is I need to separate all of my letters so that they are not touching once they are not touching then I will come in here and click my divide. Now they are all free. Okay. So I came in here and I went through and I did all of these separate things. I did the individual weld and the divide and the subtract. I tried everything. Okay. Put them back together. And as soon as you do all of that, the dadgum thing goes back. Let's see if this will do it. Oh, come on. It will disappear. I don't know if I have to have them all together. Okay, see, so it doesn't matter what I do. It still disappeared. So I thought, how am I going to get that to remain? Well, I know in order to get this to remain, if I have an opening in my path, that cannot erase it. So what I needed to do was to just kind of put all this back. Me and this computer are going to have words. All right. So I needed to have access to this. So that is why you have to separate it. Because if you don't, so let me type another one here. Okay. Um, if you don't have it separated... It would also be nice if it would remember what you were using and type it again in that. Come on, it's 
so if I could remember that I was using Aqualita or Anastasia. Okay. So if I come in here and I try to double click to get the thing to pop up, to get the notes to pop up, it won't do it. Okay. See, it won't allow me. I have to separate those to get the nodes to pop up. Okay. Oh, come on. Now, normally it pops up for me all the time. doesn't like me. All right. So, there I have them separated. So, understand. Type it out. Separate your words or separate your letters. I'm sorry. So, like with this one. I would come up here, I'd have it typed out. I would separate, so it doesn't matter how much you go. Some may be two, some may be 10, whatever it is, you have to separate each letter. Come up to edit, process overlap, then divide, okay? That will then allow each letter to be separate. Then you can go in here, double click, that will bring up the nodes that are in each letter, okay? I'm gonna go after this one. Okay, and I'm going to need to increase this so I can see what I'm doing. Not that it'll help because me and my computer don't get along. Okay, so we're going to open the outline. We're going to try this first. Well, that doesn't work because there is only one point here. Okay, so what I need to do is I need to come in here and I need to add a point. And sometimes this Canvas program shuts down. And if that happens, I'll just come back. Okay, so I'm going to pause this. Okay, yes, it has shut down. So I'm going to restart this, do it all over again, and then come back. Okay, so I am back. Here is um, the added point that I have here. So what I can do now is I can come in here and I can click open. All right. So that allows that to then open. All right, so now let's bring this back to where I can see it. Let's click this. Now all I need to do is bring them back together. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna start pulling them closer. Okay, line them up where I want them. Get them as close as I visually want them. Let's go down just a little. There we go. Now remember, if you have your snap to grids turned on, it's going to put them about an inch or however um, much you have your grid line set to. Okay, I'm going to come up here to edit, select all. All right. Then come here to edit, process overlap, and we're going to click weld. Error. Oh, oh. And that message comes in because I need to now rebuild this. So let's see what happens when I come in and I rebuild this. So let's click close this path. So now this comes in and it kind of gives it a wonky shape. Well, you know what? To heck with that right now. Let's just click edit, select all, process overlap, and weld. That maintained that hole. I created a hole. I went back in and I fixed it. And then it welded correctly. Whereas before it wouldn't. So now let's come back in here. Oh, I need to blow it up so I can actually see what I'm doing. All right. And now let's click on this. This should give us our little points here that we can grab and stretch out there let's grab this one because you don't want that bottom one too hanky looking okay oops all right let's turn that so technically i am creating the hole and i'm going to make it look i don't know why that just did that hold on I do because it's me such is my luck 
Okay, here we go. Let's get that back down there. Make it behave a wee bit better. And I went and I untucked or unclicked this one because I didn't want it to move symmetrically. I only wanted it to move on one side. Does that look okay? Uh, no. There, that's better to me. Oh, this computer. Woo! Come on. Has one of those keypads that. You click it once and it grabs a hold and then it won't let go. And it don't matter how many times you click it. Ugh. Takes a lot of getting used to. Okay. So to me, that looks fine. Now, if I wasn't doing a video, it would probably... No, that doesn't look fine. It would probably take me maybe 15 seconds to do it. Okay. There, that's much better. Okay, so that's how you can go about fixing your holes when they will not come in. Don't freak out when you chop that line apart, it's easy to go in and fix it. Okay, um, first type out your word when you get it positioned. When you click weld, if it disappears, that's absolutely fine. Click undo, get it back to its natural state. Go up to the line or the character spacing, space them out so that they are not touching. Go up and click divide. That will then separate each individual word. Go after whatever hole uh, comes up missing. Uh, click on your nodes. Uh, click create hole. That will uh, create that hole uh, or create a missing part. That will then, it's almost like it magically wakens that up. Then, before you try to weld it, go back in and click the um, close. Okay. Then, take those little handles, those little dots that are there. Okay. So, these things. Okay. Right in here. There's the curve. Um, try not to use the symmetrical handles unless you want them both to move at the same or opposite way, okay? Um, I usually only use the, the curve one, um, and then they'll come out separate like this right here, okay? This one and this one serve this same point, but they will move separately. When you click them like this, a lot of times, well, normally, hang on they'll move together okay yeah see now that 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 point they move opposite of each other okay and that's not normally what you want all right if you guys have any questions please uh, ask in the group um, I've tried to cover every little detail of this um, font thing um, because it is very important uh, with this being their new program all right, guys. Thanks a lot. Have a good day.